strategy to having a fighter's heart is to find a way to win. It's not so much like, this is the way I'm going to box. It's, I'm just there to win. So you don't envisage you knocking Fury out? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. One of the most anticipated fights in 2021 is Tyson Fury against Anthony Joshua. And like most fans, I look forward to seeing it. But Eddie Hearn said he wants a fight in a full capacity in the UK or anywhere else. And I don't know what country he's gonna be able to do that in. And the country, his country, UK, where he wants to put the fight, they're currently on lockdown. He says if he would stage the fight right now in the spring, that the fighters would have to take an 80% pay cut. Now on the boxing fan side, I'm like, I don't care. I wanna see the fight. But on the business side, it does not make sense to put this fight on right now. Now I've been saying in prior videos, this fight should take place in 2022. Eddie Hearn said both camps have the responsibility to make the maximum revenue for their biggest fight. He also said this is the pinnacle of their career. This to be the biggest moment and nothing will ever beat it. So why rush it? Only thing I can think of is they're trying to avoid the mandatories. I mean, AJ said he felt in his heart that he would likely fight Uzik in April or May, but Tyson Fury avoids mandatories like the plague. He hasn't fought a mandatory yet. And there's still no decision about the Wilder Fury trilogy. Is, is it gonna take place or is it not? I guess the judge hasn't made a decision yet. That is still looming in the air. And I wanna see the fight like everybody else. But should Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury just take care of business? I mean, AJ already took care of his IBF mandatory. Should he just go on ahead and take care of his WBO mandatory and be done with it? And should Fury take care of Wilder in the trilogy or take one mandatory for once and have the big fight late fall or 2022 if you want to maximize the revenue and get these guys the purses that you promised them or is fury scared to lose that all from the business side of things if you want maximum this is what you talk about maximum revenue this is what you would do me as a boxing fan i can care less i just want to see the big fight fury joshua crawford spence just for right now, the world is not in great shape. So you're not gonna get the money that you want for these fights, the big fights. So it's better to marinate this fight till later, until the world, at least part of the world, gets back to normalcy. Anyway, that's my opinion. What do you think? Should the Tyson Fury fight wait till late fall or 2022? Or should it have as soon as possible? As a boxer fan, I wouldn't mind seeing it right now. But as the business part, I think they should wait. I mean, who doesn't want to see it? Both guys are promising knockouts. You have Tyson Fury, who's the most skilled heavyweight in the division. And you have Anthony Joshua, who's improving each fight. And very underrated as a boxer. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone. Shoot himself live on television. He got asked that he wanted to fight. And he went around the bushes and put his ass on the edge. I want the fight. I want the fight next. I'll knock him out inside three rounds.